The highlight of my year as an avid racing fan growing up was the Grand National. It's still the highlight of my year. And this year's Grand National was a fantastic race won by a smashing old fashioned Grand National style horse in one for Arthur, who was given an old fashioned Grand National style ride by Derek Fox, winning it for great connections in Lucinda Russell, Peter Skudamore, and those two golf widows. The Grand National was seen in all its pop this year with a super winner. Arctic, Arctic fire is the best thing about Bunchstown. <laughs> the gargle is the best thing about Bunchstown. Make a few quid. Well, regarding my highlight of the jump season, they certainly have saved the best wine to last because the finish of the Coral Punchestown Gold Cup here on Wednesday certainly took some beating. It was a race of so many sidelines, so many headlines and so many storylines, sizing John completing the treble of Gold Cups. Coney Gree coming right back to form after his more or less absence since 2015 and Jack Adam going so close to that elusive grade one over three miles. It was a case of, you know, a mistake here, a mistake there, and a mistake somewhere else made all the difference in the finish. But it was sizing Johnny come out in front, and that would take some beating as the highlight of any season. The highlight of my season by far was the resurgence of Robbie Power. He got the last rights read on his career as a jockey ultimately with a fractured eye socket and he got double vision afterwards. People call him the Edward Gav Davids of the, of the jockey's room because he has to wear these special goggles and few would have bet that he would come back, win a Gold Cup, an Irish Grand National and to be honest with you, few other jockeys deserve it more than Robbie Power. By a mile, he's my highlight of the season. My highlight of the jump season so far was undoubtedly our Duke winning the Boyle Sports Irish Grand National at Ferry House. For a handicap to be won with such authority was almost surreal. Robbie Power and Jessica Harrington, what a terrific season both have had. And it was sugar-coated by our Duke, who looks like a Gold Cup horse in the making. It'll be fascinating to follow his progress this season, but I thoroughly enjoyed watching him doing what he does best, jumping and galloping in the Irish Grand National at Ferry House. My highlight of the jump season would be sizing John's win in the Timico Gold Cup. From a personal point of view, I was uh, all in on him, shall we say, in the, in the run-up to it. Um, and for him to do it in the manner he did on the day was really pleasing. Great win for Jessica Harrington and Robbie Power, who have had a tremendous season. That would be my highlight of the jump season. <laughs>